my most memorable... I can't remember my most memorable gig, but my second most memorable gig is the one that I'm going to play later that hasn't happened yet. But I, I can remember it, but I haven't played it yet. There's just constant moments where music blows my mind. Uh, hard to pick out an example of one thing, but... Uh, Pretty much every time I hear something new that I like, it blows my mind because I hear so much new stuff that I don't like. So every time something's good, I'm fairly picky, I think. So if I hear something new that's good, it's like, wow, someone can someone can still have a new idea and it's still good or oh, amazing. And then I think, well, but now they've done that idea, so I can never do that idea. So now I have to think of new ideas. And, uh, I can't really think of a specific example, really, but every, every good tune plays my mind because it's hard to do a good tune. My first memory of making music was... I do kind of remember it. I was, like, I think eight years old, something like that, and me and my brother had a, a sort of drum machine attachment that you could get for a ZX Spectrum computer, and I was, like, a uh, sort of unbroken voice prepubescence rapper or sort of wannabe rapper and we had a four track we borrowed off someone. Uh, music's important for me because it's pretty much all I'm really interested in or all I can really sort of do or try to do and uh, and it's a lot of fun. I guess the most personal song I play live is Cool's uh, What Happened and that's probably personal because there's not a lot of disguising uh, the lyrics behind sort of wordplay and fun and there's there's a little bit of sort of humor in it But it's probably the most depressive song I play therefore the most personal I can't remember my most memorable gig, but my second most memorable gig is The one that I'm gonna play later that hasn't happened yet, but I, I can remember it, but I haven't played it yet I told you I was bad at interviews <laughs>